Hello beautiful people, I hope so you are all fine and you are suffering with the react js app size so don't worry we are here i just uh, i just let you see that uh, our dummy app and we just make it and i just show you its size that why its size is getting increased like like when most of the time it happened we don't care about the size while making our app and we just make our app as we want so but when our size uh, when our app size getting bigger and bigger then we realize that uh, uh, it's getting slower in production phase so if we see that its size is 19 mb and but it is not a big app it is just small app but its size 19 mb is quite big when it will go in production the load time will be slower so much so uh, why it's happened most of the time i just uh, i just let you know that uh, we just go in our router where we can configure our router and here we see that we have uh, import all of our components on one page okay so i just show you like this this these are all the components we we have just import in our router app even we don't need it exactly on the same time we are loading so what we what we can do that we can import them later when we need it so most of the time we don't care because uh, we we have some small apps and we don't care about this and uh, it not exactly affect so much in our app but when our app size getting bigger then it's really effect so what we can do we just need to uh, import our packages asynchronously so how we can do this i just give you a small overview of our async component so i just show you where it is located uh, first of all we just need a new file and we just call it async component.js okay we have created our async component and uh, i just give you code you can find the reference in my description and uh, this is the code i just show you we just open it in no notepad so this is the component we just need to copy it and we just need to paste in our newly created component and save it so what it what it does most of the, uh, we just give the reference to it to this component and it call and it call the component and it import the component uh, asynchronously so that when we need we just call this component so if we don't need for example if we have a component and it is calling in other pages uh, which is not uh, which is not exactly needed on the same time when we are loading our app so we don't it will not call and that's why our app size will be will stay reduced so uh, how i just i just let you know how we can uh, we can use this method so first of all we just need to import this component import we, we can name it async component like this from we just give the path async component and now what we have to do we just have to call for example uh, every every component we need to call but we just need to care about that we uh, the import method is getting a bit different on this we just need to paste it here like uh, now what we need to do i just give you an example and then i will continue all of the code and i will show you the comparison so we just make it const the navbar and it's equal and we just need to uh, cancel this and we just uh, call the async component which we have imported just now this one we just use it and now we just pass a function here like uh, import sorry we just need a callback function to it and we just write import and open the brackets and then we just need to pass the same link here this one like this we just we just call every component on this so that uh, we just uh, we just call every component and import every component such like this and uh, when we import this then every uh, the component will be called when it's needed and the react size it will low so i just pause the video and i just uh, import all of the components which we needed uh, on other pages 
so I will just show you I just pause the video so if we saw this uh, we have import all the components set like this method which I have shown right now and now if we just check and you see refresh and run our app again and I just show like the size difference okay we have just imported our app and let's inspect it again and see the size uh, go to the network and uh, we just refresh it and let's see so you can see like uh, its size is getting 7.6 MBs because our first uh, size was 19.2 MB and more than this so we can see it is a visible difference uh, uh, between the old version and new version so like this we can uh, we can import our component and asynchronously and uh, it will really really affect on our app so i hope so you really like my video so if you really like so just uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel thank you so much